In World of Warcraft, we are quite used to getting new classes in every other expansion. In Wrath of the Lich King, we got Death Knights, in Mist of Pandaria, we got Monks, and in Legion, we got the Demon Hunter. In BFA, we got new races, so that would mean, according to this pattern, we would be getting a new class in the next expansion. But what class could we get? The chances of us getting a new class in the next expansion is quite high. However, there's a lot of classes in the game that have already been taken. So in this video, we're going to be going over 5 classes that could be coming to World of Warcraft. So number 5 on this list is the Tinker. So of course, Engineer is a profession in World of Warcraft, however this could be a real class. If you think about the NPCs in WoW, a lot of them can actually be considered a combat version of an Engineer, where they use a bunch of gadgets to electrocute, explode, and transform their enemies. Gazlo and High Tinker Mechatork are good examples of a Tinker. In fact, some of the AI NPCs that you can find in Island Expeditions are actually officially Tinker classes. So technically, this could be considered an actual class in the game, just that we players cannot actually select it and play it ourselves. The Tinker can actually fill up a bunch of roles for damage dealing, healing, and tanking. But one of the most interesting aspects of the Tinker is the idea of creating turrets in-game. In a bunch of Blizzard IPs, they have created engineer characters that are based around the idea of creating turrets and upgrading them to do the damage. If you think about Tjorborn in Overwatch, or Gazlo in Heroes of the Storm, these are good examples of what a tinker could be, where you create a bunch of turrets that are on the floor that shoot at the enemy. In this way, the tinker doesn't necessarily do damage itself, it kind of relies on the turrets and mechanical contraptions to do the damage for him. Another idea is that these turrets can also be used to heal players and give them buffs. For the tank roll, it could actually be quite feasible. Engineering construction, such as power suits that Gelbin Mechatork uses, can very much be used as the tank spec. To be honest, I think this is quite a high possibility that this will be the next class in the next expansion. We've had quite a lot of teasers and thematic elements to the game regarding Tinkers being a new class. Think about the NPCs that you can find in Island Expeditions and the Mechagon Zone that has just came out in BFA. So number four on this list is Witch Doctor. As you guys may know, the Witch Doctor is in Diablo. The idea behind the Witch Doctor is that it's basically some sort of a necromancer, however it uses voodoo and manipulates the undead. You can inflict a bunch of poison abilities and summon undead to do the fighting for you. This is a very established class in the Diablo franchise, but that is not to say that it doesn't belong in World of Warcraft. In fact, in the World of Warcraft lore, there's quite a lot of witch doctors that are in the game. Most notably, the troll race has a bunch of examples of witch doctors that you can fight against. For instance, in Zul'Gurub, there was a bunch of Witch Doctor NPCs that you can fight that have some very cool abilities. There's a lot of ideas that can be applied to the Witch Doctor class in World of Warcraft. There is a wide amount of spells, and considering that we've had a lot of melee classes that have been released, such as the Death Knight Monk and the Demon Hunter, the Witch Doctor will fill in the need for a new ranged attack class. Number 3 on this list is the Dragon Sworn. So this is another class that is in World of Warcraft that a few NPCs belong to. The most famous example is Alex Straza, who is basically a Dragon Mage. As I mentioned before, we haven't had a new class that was a ranged DPS, so a Dragon Sworn or Dragon Mage could fill in this role. The idea behind the Dragon Sworn is that its magic comes from dragons, and they are known to shapeshift in and out of draconic forms. I don't need to say, but this is a really cool idea. The idea of transforming into a dragon on a cooldown is definitely something that a lot of players will want to do. In addition, there's quite a lot of room for spells and cool ideas in the game, from damage abilities to healing abilities. Number 2 on this list is the Bard. So in World of Warcraft, we haven't actually seen any bards. This is kind of unusual considering that the bard is definitely a staple class in RPGs. Dating back to the early editions of Dungeons & Dragons, bards have been a go-to job or class for players to enjoy. The basic idea behind the bard is that it's a class that does buffing and debuffing. In this sense, the bard will be more of a support class that benefits his group and inflicts debuffs on the enemy. There was even a time when World of Warcraft played an April Fool's joke where they announced a new bard class and created fake pictures of them where to execute their abilities they would need to complete a Guitar Hero minigame 
to finish their spell. Now I don't think it's a good idea to have a Guitar Hero minigame to finish your spell, but the basic idea of a bard is definitely something that could work. A playable bard class can actually be found in Heroes of the Storm. ETC is an example of this. It's basically a character that works as a tank. He uses musical abilities to inflict damage and stun targets. So if there were a bard class in World of Warcraft, it could very easily be created as a tank, given the example of what they've created with ETC. So number one on this list is the Battle Mage. As I mentioned before, I do think that we will get a new ranged DPS class that is in the next expansion. However, the Battle Mage is not necessarily that. The Battle Mage is something that is quite interesting. The basic idea of what fans have created is that it's a mage that actually uses melee attacks and armor in conjunction with spells. So it's not necessarily a pure melee class or a pure range class. I think a good idea of what a battle mage could do would be enchanting its weapon to inflict spell damage. For example, you would infuse a sword with the fire element, and every time you use your sword it would inflict fire damage on the opponent. That in conjunction with a bunch of spells could be a pretty good idea. Another example of a mage variant would be the time mage. A good example of what a time mage could be is Chromie in Heroes of the Storm. The time mage kind of uses sand instead of the traditional elements that a mage has, where it can reverse time and manipulate sand to do its damage for it. There is already a precedent set for there being a time mage in the WoW lore, so if we get it as a new class, I think it would be pretty cool. In this list, which class do you think is going to come in the new expansion? Or do you think I missed any potential classes that could be coming out? Leave that down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like on this video, it helps me out a lot. This is Volti, signing out.